Nicole, I am so excited to connect with you today and uh, share your experience with all my viewers. You are someone who first contacted me and uh, you were not really sure what was going on and for a little while it almost didn't happen and then it happened. And you've been such an inspiration for me. You've been an inspiration for the women that we got a chance to work together, you know, with you. And your transformation has been amazing. So uh, I'd like to start by saying thank you for being here. I'm so, so excited to be here with you. And uh, if you can start by sharing just uh, Kind of like, what were the circumstances that led you to reach out and, and knock on my door and say, hey, can we, can we work together? <laughs> okay. Um, I, I had just gotten out of a relationship um, with somebody who I thought I was in love with. And um, it was, to be honest, it was really just a rebound from a, another relationship. And I, it was... I had been getting in all sorts of relationships that were not good for me. And I, by the time I had gotten out of that last one, I had uh, purchased online self-help books and uh, I mean, but nothing was sticking. I had spent over a thousand dollars. So by the time I came across your ad on Facebook, I was desperate. I, I was really skeptical, but I just thought, I mean, I've already spent this much money and it's not working, so I don't know what else to do. I, I, I have to do something. I, and so it, so I, I talked to you and it, oh my gosh, I was so scared whenever you called me even. Um, I remember the look in your, your face and you could tell that I was very closed off and, and then you just, you looked right in my eyes and you said, I know this shit is fucking hard. <laughs> and that's when I was like, I can work with him. <laughs> I needed someone who would give it to me to me straight. So since I could get um, the, the honest truth from you, I, I trusted you like mm. immediately. That's awesome. And uh, what would you say? Because we went through a lot my dear together. We went, we went, I mean, so many experiences that I got a chance to see you through in and out, but how, what would you say were maybe the top two or three breakthroughs, insights, uh, changes that you went through as a result of this work that helped you to open up into a new relationship and, and a new you, actually? <laughs> the, one of the biggest things for me was the physiology, um, really changing the the way that I moved every single day, whether it was just going to a new place or dancing or really um, like feeling everything that I could through my body. So it changed the way that I sensed things in the world. And so it that really opened up what was inside of me to experiencing new things too. It um, that that was huge, and that's something that affects me like every day. If I I can immediately tell when I need to change something up, mm -hmm. um, I start getting into a pattern. Um, and then the other thing was um, to stop punishing myself for things that happened such a long time ago. Um, there was, uh, I'm sure you recall, my biggest breakthrough was at a women's conference that you had in San Antonio and... Austin! <laughs> Austin, Austin, Austin. And, uh, and it, uh, I, forgiveness and self-compassion were so hard for me. Um, and... The, through the work that we did together, I was able to to actually love myself. I hadn't done that in like a decade, mm. maybe longer. And I, I had I was beating myself up for this person I had loved a long time ago and it didn't work. And I just blamed myself, blamed myself and and then um, I, I, there came a point when it was okay. And actually I've reconnected with him since and and I wasn't able to do that before. I, I was punishing him too, and it, I'm just, um, I'm, I'm really glad that you 
worked with me. <laughs> well, awesome. What would you say were maybe the greatest fears that you had or the greatest beliefs that kept you from experiencing a need? Just, it's, because it's not for you, we'll talk about the relationship in a second, but it's not just that. The relationship is a tip of the iceberg. The, there's a way that you're stepping up into the world, the way that you're opening up to both men and women. Uh, it's just a, a different energy that you bring about in every conversation I've seen you, uh, when I saw you live here in Austin. So what were the beliefs you have perhaps about what was possible and what changed throughout the course of the work in terms of beliefs for you to experience a new reality? Um, at first, I didn't think that I could have the kind of man that I wanted. Um, mm -hmm. I, I thought I originally came to you because I wanted to find love. Um, but I didn't realize how much I needed to love myself first. And um, so through that um, self-discovery, all of my relationships at work, at home, like friends, everything started to change. I was able to make eye contact with people, just talk to random strangers. I, I was just so much more excited to be alive and um, and take everything in that I could. Um, as far as the change in beliefs, I mean, I don't know exactly what point that things really started to change for me, but it, it started out that I didn't think that I was worthy I, to get the things that I really wanted out of life. Mm -hmm. And I just kept subjecting myself to the same pattern of behavior over and over. And finally, You know, I, I got to a point where it was kind of like, this is it, you're on the, you're on the cusp of something here. Mm -hmm. and, and that was Austin for me. So mm -hmm. um, after that, I mean, I've just, I feel so much more free. There's so much freedom and self-love. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about uh, your relationship. Tell me about your man. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me about it a little bit. I'll let you do the talking. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so happy that I found this man. We met online and um, he and I are just so good at being weird together. We get each <laughs> other. Uh, we, um, uh, we accept each other. We laugh together and we talk. You know, it's it's great be, having uh, the ability to just say how I really feel and not being afraid that he'll run away. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's very um, and he wants to work through things. One of my biggest fears before was that if a man really got to know me, that he wouldn't want to solve problems with me. And this man, he keeps coming back. You know, we we have worked through so much together already, and I'm just. Oh my gosh, it, I just, it's not been like anything I've ever experienced before. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's amazing. I, I really love what I have going right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful to experience. And here's the thing, because uh, you, you stepped in so strongly in this work. Uh, there were a bunch of women in the group. And I remember how week in, week out, no matter how much shit happened, you would just continue going. And when I gave you the challenge of creating more connections, you, you took it to heart. And, and I can't tell you how proud I am of how devoted you were to the work, because it wasn't just, you, you, like you put everything on the line. You really said, I, I need to make this work, it needs to happen. And there's weeks where you created more connections than anyone, you know, uh, and, and even, but even when they didn't work, you still came back for more. And that's, I, I feel so happy and so proud because when I, I tell this to every woman that I work with, I'm even more, make more emphasis right now. It's very, very difficult. And if you think it's easy, then don't do this because it's not easy, but it's so, I mean, would you say it's worth it? Would you say that the, all the hard work and the cash and the time, would you, would you say that it's worth it for you? It's, uh, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. It, like I said at first, it was really, really scary um to to take the leap emotionally and financially um but when all is said and done i absolutely would not change a thing like it to to what you get on the other side is worth 
I mean, you get your life back, you know. Yeah. Um, I just want to say how proud I am of you, how excited I am to connect with you today, and how blessed I am to have the opportunity to work with you and also to see how your, not just relationship is blossoming, your career and the changes that you're creating right now, going from something that was certain to something that's unknown, but still super exciting for you. Uh, I'm so, so happy to get a chance. I have one more question for you, and that is, what would you say to someone who is on the verge of making that decision? She's thinking, well, it, could it be true? Could this guy be full of shit and just trying to sell me something to take my money away? Or, or is this actually real? What would you say to that woman who's not necessarily sure that she might benefit from this? I would say it's a valid concern, but it's for real. It is for real. If whatever you are facing, you you can get through it and you can learn how to believe in yourself again. <laughs> You're so such a beautiful person, Nicole. I'm, I'm very excited and I, and I look forward to hearing more from you, getting more updates from you on this amazing journey that you're on right now, uh, getting more pictures of you, maybe traveling with your uh, man and a few cool things that are, uh, you know, in the future for you. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, I really appreciate you uh, being a friend, not just a client and, and also taking the time out of your schedule to do this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bert. <laughs>